playing guitar is cool. Learning guitar is in. That's why 30% of Americans say they'd like to be able to play, while only 6% actually can. It's like getting fit. It takes months of dedication before you even start seeing results. What if you could do it in a day? I sat down with two unpaid friends to see if in one day I could teach them how to play. So have you ever played guitar before? Negative. Negative? <laughs> no. The hardest thing I can play is Smoke in the Water. I know that's the easiest song. I'm able to strum it and that's all I know. <laughs> I honestly can't play anything. Like, I'm not even joking. Do you think you'll be able to learn by the end of the day? Hopefully. Okay. 24 hours is a long time. Okay. 24 hours is not a long time, but we have a plan. Most guitar courses begin by teaching these six open chords. With them and a capo, you can play a lot of pop songs, but they're hard, unless you have good finger dexterity, which you don't unless you already play guitar or tech tech. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. It's a go-to because it uses these four chords. They use two anchor fingers, meaning you only have to worry about moving two fingers on four strings. That's 44% easier. We're also going to be using an electric guitar because the strings are thinner, so they should hurt less. I'm assuming one chord is like a... Is, is a chord horizontal or vertical? <laughs> the first step is to figure out what a chord is, and then the four chords you need to play Wonderwall. It's muting it. Like, that's hard, to play in multiple strings, like just sort of... Like... Oh, this hurts my fingers. My pinky's already starting to kind of hurt. <laughs> We're gonna take a break every hour to prevent finger pain and mental strain. Then we'll add a capo. It'll make the strings easier to push down, meaning less finger pain. It also put the chords in the right key. Oh my god, I'm, that's, I'm playing Wonderwall. Yeah. John was starting to sound like Noel Gallagher himself while Dan was sounding like he'd been playing guitar for an hour. Like, look at that, that's, that's impossible. Which was accurate, but I made a mistake. I was trying to teach Dan the exact same way I taught John, because I saw it work for John. Oh, the path shit. worked for John because with each step he was sounding closer to the song, while each step for Dan was another seemingly disconnected technique. There's no faster way to lose motivation than to be incredibly bored. Turns out, Dan didn't even want to learn Wonderwall. He doesn't like it, but he did want to play, so we changed our approach. Dan learned how to read tabs, and we hooked him up to distortion so he'd play the songs that he wanted to play. Boy, what a game changer. <laughs> After that, Dan did put down the guitar for hours, except to snap his friends what he could play. Turns out, enjoying learning makes learning better. Because it actually feels like I'm doing something. After about 10 hours, Dan and John went home to sleep. A good night's sleep also makes learning better. And they were back and well rested. So how you feel? A little hungover. The 24 hour mark was coming quick. And after some last minute practice, it was showtime. So can you learn how to play guitar in 24 hours? Not really. Someone just said pretty solid for 24 hours. 24 hours is not a long time, but in it you can start to see potential and maybe find some inspiration. The guitar is scary and a lot of time the hardest part is just picking it up and starting. This is just one day, but imagine two or three or even six. You just have to actually try. No time that takes the world out.